31 years later, the horrific Las Cruces bowling alley massacre remains a mystery. Seven people were shot, four were killed, including children. The two killers remain a mystery. The gunman shot the victims in an office and then set fire to the room and escaped. KVIA general manager Kevin Lovell was actually working in the newsroom that day and rushed to the scene as he got word about what happened. And he recalls the horror as a woman, Audrey Teran, was told her husband and children had been gunned down. And she was not allowed into the area and she was blocked off. And they, they told her that she needed to go to the hospital. She had no clue what had happened. Again, so people didn't really know what had happened. We didn't have social media like we do now. Investigators are still chasing leads. For 30 years, every anniversary, ABC7 has aired a story to keep the case in the headlines in hopes of generating those leads. And there is still a $25,000 reward for information leading to the killers. The tips can be provided anonymously by calling Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477. And I did a Borderline Crimes podcast on this case last year. You can check that out by going to our website or anywhere you download podcasts.